This video is to help acquaint you with the process of writing simple voice leading, various bass techniques, and simple drum parts in finale. Okay, in class we got about this far. So um, we had listened to a track that had constant eighth notes in the bass. It was Since You've Been Gone by Gar Kelly Clarkson. So we're taking that concept the concept of constant eighth notes in the bass, and we're applying it to this chord sequence. So here you need to continue on with the note A, and in case you need a reminder, uh, you, you access the notes through the simple entry palette, the window menu. Uh, you want to have both the main tool palette and the simple entry palette, and you can make it look differently. You can stretch it out, make it smaller, make it wider by doing the, the corner. So what we're doing right now is we're using simple entry. So we click on the uh, note that we want. So right now we want eighth notes. You click on that, move down, enter your uh, your A, and just enter a bunch of A's. And then when it gets to F, you have to put in the F, and so on until you have a bass line. All right, so now you should, when you're done with this portion of it, it should sound like this. Okay, when you've done that portion, you'll recall that the way we did the chord symbols with this is the chord tool right here, that chord tool. And the way we did the Roman numerals was using the expression tool right there. Double, we double clicked and we went to Roman numerals. But we also had shortcuts where we could do um, hold down one, click, and you get one uh, Roman numeral one. Hold down five, click, you get Roman numeral five. Hold down six, click, you get Roman numeral six. Hold down four, click, you get Roman numeral four. So all of those are. Um, already in there so I'm going to erase them now but that's just a reminder okay so what I want you to do now for homework is um, to do um, the equivalent progression but in minor in the relative minor which means a minor so instead of the one chord being C the one chord is now going to be a minor instead of the five chord being G the five chord is now going to be E minor seven E minor the six chord is now flat six major, and the four chord is now four minor. So you're taking the same idea, you're transposing it to A minor. Before we do that, though, we need to put in a repeat symbol right here. I'll show you how to do that. Remember, the shortcut for the selection tool was escape. I'm hitting escape. Now you'll notice that I'm on the selection tool. Then I can simply click on this, control click, and I get my menu. I go down until I reach repeats and I choose forward repeat bar, create forward repeat bar, and now I have a repeat there. So my next step is to put in my chord symbols. So I say, I go to my chord tool, I click above the measure and I type in a capital A, and then I put a minus symbol for A minor. Then I need uh, five in the minor key, so that's E minor, so I do that. Then I need uh, what 6 in the minor key, which is flat 6 major, which is F. And then I need 4 in the minor key, which is D minor. Put that in. And then I need my Roman numerals for that. Well, the Roman numeral shortcuts for minor are right below the numbers. So if the number 1 is 1 major, then the, num the letter right below 1, which is Q, is going to be 1 minor. So I hold down Q. I go to, sorry, I go to my MF, uh, the... Uh, expression tool, and then I hold down Q, which is right below 1, click, and I get 1 minor. I go to 5, the letter right below 5 is T, I hold down T, click, and I get 5 minor. I go to 6, the letter right below 6 is, is, um, is Y, so I hold down Y, I click, I get flat 6 major, and <clears throat> I go to D minor, which is 4, and I go right below the number 4, which the letter is R, hold that down, click, and I get 4 minor. Then I, so I have, now I have all my Roman numerals. Okay, then I need to do um, 
my voice lead and my drums and my bass. So the bass is going to be the same. You're going to do constant eighth notes, but the bass has to be A here and E here and F here and D here. The drum pattern can be the same as either one of these. Now you could just simply copy and paste that. You can just hit escape, grab the, the bass line, I mean the, the drum part, command C, copy, command B to paste, and there you have your drums. And then you can just do that for each uh, measure. And now you have all your drums in there. So the only remaining thing that I'm not going to show you in this video, but you already know how to do it, is to voice lead from A minor. Just pick a good voicing to begin on. I would recommend a low one, but you could start high and then you could use the shortcut, remember? You could use the shortcut, which is uh, after you've done all your voice leading, you could then go to escape and select everything and simply hit the number 8 to bring everything down an octave and nine to bring it up an octave. So get all your voice leading in there. Remember, keep common tones, then move tones by, half, uh, by step if you can't do common tones. And then put in your baseline constant eighths, and then you will have completed this phase of the homework so that your major key version of 1564 will be up here and your minor version of 1564 will be down here. Okay, that's it. Oh, and one more final thing. If you watch the first video, video and you've set up your computer correctly, you'll know that now your number keys are intervals. I mean, your number keys are note values. So 3 is now a 16th note. 4 is now an eighth note. 5 is a quarter. 6 is a half. And 7 is a whole note. So you could easily change note values with those numbers. And then the function keys which are above them are intervals. So if I wanted to do E minor, I could start with E and then I know it's all just thirds so I hit F3 twice and I now have a root position E minor chord. Now it's not well voice led so how do I change that? Well I can remember navigate down through a chord by doing control I'm sorry command arrow and I go down to my E and then I want to move my E up an octave because it's too low. It's not keeping common tones. So I hit shift arrow and that moves it up an octave. And now I have common tone in the same voice, right? Now it's well voice led. Same thing here. I go along to F. I do a root position, hit F3, create my uh, chord here. And I realize, you know, I could keep my voice leading like this but I'm kind of jumping a big distance there. I mean, it's okay, I'm jumping a third though. What if I move my F up an octave? Then everything's moving less. That's only a step. This is only a step. So that's a little bit better voice leading. That's a little bit closer. And then finally my D, I could start with root position and do my snowman with the F3 key and then uh, go, to, you know, navigate down, command arrow down, shift arrow up an octave, navigate down, shift arrow up an octave, and now I've got my common tones in the top voice, and everything's looking cool. And now that I have good voice leading, I can just hit escape, go to my uh, escape, uh, my selection tool, uh, select the first measure, shift click on the last measure hit 8, bring it all down an octave, and now I have my good voice leading. Then all I have left to do is, is my bass, constant eighth notes in the bass. Okay, do your best on that.